Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. This is part 5 of the self-driving simulation using convolutional neural networks. In this video, we are going to augment our data to add more variety and variance. This will help us in the training process to generalize more efficiently. So let's get started. So the next step is basically augmentation of data. Now NVIDIA themselves actually performed augmentation on the images as well. So what is this augmentation and why is this important? Now the concept is that no matter how much data you have, it is never enough. So what we do is whatever data we have, we try to add some variety in that. So we can change its lighting, we can change its zoom, we can move it on the left and right a little bit that is called panning so we can apply these different techniques so that we can have different data so for example if we had 10,000 images we could augment our data and we can have 30,000 or 40,000 images so with very simple techniques we can create new data keeping within our limitations so how can we do that now the good thing is we already have a library for that and that let's put that in our utilities because we are going to create a function for that so we are going to write imports matplotlib dot image as mp img now the reason we are importing uh, from matplotlib because it gives us an RGB image and we will train with RGB rather than BGR CV2 or OpenCV gives us BGR so that's why we are not using that so then we are going to use from image aug now this is the library that will help us augment uh, we are going to import augmenters as IAA So here we are going to write our augment image function and what we will write is our image path that is what we need and we need the stating as well. Now the reason we need stating uh, is because we will also use flip. So if we had an image which had left curve and if we flip it horizontally the curve will become right. So we will have to change the sign for it. So that's why we are getting the staining angle as well. So here we will first import our image. So we will write image is equals to mp image dot im read. And we are going to give our image path. So this will simply import the image. And now we can apply different augmentation techniques. So the first one we will apply is our translation. So we will say that we will be able to move the image left and right uh, based on a certain amount. So we will say that we want to go plus and minus 10%. So over here we will write pan is equals to IAA dot affine and then we are going to write translate percent is equals to now we are going to give in our percentages so here we will write x and then we are going to give the values so we will say uh, plus minus 10 percent so this will be minus and then this will be plus uh, 10 percent and then we are going to define our y so we will write here y and then we are going to write here uh, minus 0 0.1 and again 0 0.1 So now we can write image is equals to pan dot augment and underscore image image and then we are going to send in our image. So this will add a pan. So in order to see how it looks like what we can do um, 
let's just grab one of these images let me just grab one of these images and I will put it outside uh, just in the main folder so in the main folder I can write this as test so here I can write that my image results and my staring angle is equals to augments our test image uh, sorry augment image so basically we're just applying this function uh, to one of the images that we have just imported oh this is actually straight uh, let's let's pick another one let's pick something that is tilted so it's easier to see oh boy so we will go up and here will paste again test and let's open that up and there you go so it's a little bit tilted so it should be fine so over here we are going to write test dot jpg and then we are going to write here zero because we have to put in a staining angle and we have to give the image path and over here we have to return return basically our image and our staring staring so this will be our image result and then the staring so we're not going to use the staring for now so to show what we can do is we can simply write plt dot im show and then we can write image re and plt dot show so now instead of running the training we are going to run utilities and there we have it so now you can see that our image is a little bit shifted towards the right hand side and it's also shifted in the y direction but as you can see uh, the shift is random so you can see that here it's shifted more in the x direction than in the y direction so this is for pan. So the next one we are going to apply is basically zoom. So here we will write zoom is equals to IAA dot affine. And then we will give it a scale and in the scale we are going to give the values so we will say that the scale can range from 1 to let's say 1.2 and then we are going to say again image is equals to zoom dot augments underscore image and then we are going to send our image so we can comment this out so it only zooms in and if we run this again it should now zoom in so as you can see uh, let's open up the original image so there you go so as you can see here you can see the car more than you can see here so it has definitely zoomed in and here you can see the tree we cannot see this one over here so this is for zoom and let's comment this out and then we are going to apply the brightness so we will write here brightness so we will say brightness is equals to IAA dot multiply mul I think it's capital multiply yes it's capital and then we are going to write here 0 0.2 to 1.2 so 0, 0.2 uh, 0 means dark 1 means bright and uh, 1 means normal and then above 1 will be bright so our ra uh, our range is from dark to bright so you can have any range you want and then um, we will copy this line again and this time we will just say brightness 
now if we run this there we have it so now our image is quite dark actually it's really dark so let's change it a little bit maybe from 0 0.4 to 1.2 but again you can play around with these values and you can see what gives you better result so the next one will be flip so we are going to write here flip and we will write image is equals to for this we are going to use the cv2 function which is your open cv so we will write cv2 dot flip and we will write our image and then we will give in our value one now we did not import cv2 that's why it's giving an error so we will write here import cv2 and there you go so then as i have mentioned before if we flip the image we have to change the staring angle so we will write here staring is equals to uh, minus staring so whatever the value was before it will now become minus multiplied by minus one so if we run only that let's run this and there you go so in the original image our car was on this side and now it's on this side now the thing is that we don't want to apply all these randomizations all the time to each image that will not generalize that well so what we can do is we can add a random value and we can say that generate a random value and uh, that could be between 0 and 1 and if it's below 0 0.5 then we can say that do this operation so this means that we have a 50% chance of doing any of these augmentations so what do I mean by that let's find out so over here we are going to write if numpy dot random dot rand is less than 0 0.5 this means that it will generate a value from 0 to 1 and if the value is less than 0 0.5 then it will apply this operation so if you want to check this out we can print this out here print random we can print it like a couple of times so we can see what happens So there you go so you have 0 0.1 0 0.8 0 0.7 0 0.9 so if the value is below so in the first case it was below it will do this otherwise it will not so what we will do is we will apply this to all of them so each time it runs it will have a 50 percent chance of running it and that will be balanced because all of them will have the same chance and again, we, we are not just applying one transformation or one augmentation at one time. We can apply multiple augmentations. For example, we can have the pan and we can have the brightness as well. We can have the flip and we can have the zoom as well. So, let, oh, not this, this, and then we will put this. So now all of these will be applied in a random order and every time we run it, uh, the result will be different so this is the result now if we run it again you can see now again so we have a different image I think it zoomed in maybe a little bit and we have a flip as well if we run it again again now you can see there's a lot of zoom and there's a flip maybe as well so again the thing is that it will keep applying different uh, uh, techniques and this will give us a lot of different variations that we required in our data set so we can remove this and this we can just comment out because we don't need this so this is it for today's video in the next part, we are going to apply some pre-processing techniques to our images. And we will also create a batch generator for the training. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up and I will see you in the next one.